What's up my dudes, it's Ossifer and today we got our hands on a sealed box of the Crown Zenith Mini Tins. It wasn't easy to get my hands on this, so before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and let's take a look at this box. Right here is the sealed box. As you can see, at the very top we have the full picture of what the art would be like if we were to combine the tins. On the very front we have Leon, we have Marnie on the side, Hop on the other side and Professor Sonia and BD on the back. So why don't we open this up and start looking at what's inside. Here's what the box looks like once you have it opened up and propped like a display case. I took out the entire left side and it looks like we did get one of every character. I don't have it in the right order right now and let's see. So it looks like every box will get you one two of every character so if that's if you're looking to collect getting your hands on a sealed box would be the way to go now we are going to open all these tins one by one first we're going to take a closer look at what's inside each tin before we start opening all the packs i've removed the plastic off of each tin and put them in the right order here so let's pop each one of these and let's take a look at what we're looking at so every tin is going to come with an art card We'll take these out for now because we will put these arts together. I mean, we already know what it's going to look like, but just for fun, we'll take a look again. And each one comes with a sticker with their respective character that's on the tin and the two packs of Crown Zenith inside every tin. So we'll just go through these one by one real quick just to show you another art card here. Sticker sheet again, two packs. At this point, we're probably going to fast forward right about now. And there you have it. Those are all the art cards. So if you're a collector of everything Pokemon, you can get one of each tin, get each one of these art cards. You put them all together and it will look like this. Not really sure where you'll put this or display it because it's not really the same size as a regular card. So it might be hard to sleeve. If you're creative, I'm sure you'll find a way. I'll put these off to the side for now. I'll pop open the other five tins so we have all 20 packs available here. I've removed every pack from all the tins and now I'm left with this cool looking display. I'm not actually sure what I can do with all these empty tins. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Uh, for now, I'm gonna keep them in here as is and add them to my shelf for future videos. Now heading into the packs, we're gonna have our classic left side versus right side battle. Uh, with the way I'm doing it, you're not gonna know which pack was from which tin, unfortunately, but uh, all you need to know that this is left side and this is right side. So starting with the left side, let's jump into it and see which side is going to end up on top. So let's see if we can get that first pack magic in the sealed mini tin box that we got our hands on. I don't know about you guys, but where I'm at, uh, every store did get their hands on the mini tins. However, it was in very limited quantities. So like I said, it wasn't easy for me to get my hands on this entire sealed box, but hold on. Are we walking into anything here? No, just the chat taught into. Okay, Stoutland V. That's a hit. First pack magic coming through. As I was saying, every store did have them in stock, but of course it was very limited quantities. These things sold out super fast. And I'll be honest, uh, it wasn't easy to get my hands on this box and it may or may not have cost me an arm or a leg uh, as well to get it. So I really wanted it for the YouTube channel though. So I made things happen and I'm really hoping that we can get really good pull rates and good hits out of this entire box just to make it worth it. And so far no glaring galleries, two packs in and a Volcarona regular rare. Heading into the third pack, I did briefly consider only opening half the box for myself and trying to sell the other half, but I suffer from gr a great deal of FOMO and I, I would have wanted to know what was in those other tins if I had got rid of them and I'd lose sleep over it. So I decided, you know what? Let's just bite the bullet and take all these tins for ourselves. Okay, we got the Lapras Glaring Gallery, our first one. 
And is it a double hit? It's, oh, we got the beady. This brings me one step closer to having all the signed autos if that doesn't already bring me to all the signed supporter cards. I'm kind of curious if this BD card came from the BD tin. Uh, at this rate, we'll never know, but what it would, <laughs> it would have been really interesting if the BD card did come from the BD tin, cause hey, that feels like it was kind of scripted if it was, but we're still looking for something really big, but three hits in and almost just as many packs. That's, you know, the typical hit rate here we see with Crown Zenith. They are quite generous with their hits. Uh, let's see if we can get something that'll give us a big wow. So the reverse holo Leapard into another regular rare Volcarona. This is our fifth pack marking the halfway point of the left side. So far the left side is off to a slow start by Crown Zenith standards. Uh, but three hits in four packs, not that bad. Maybe the halfway mark will shake things up a bit and start to put some competition on the board. We got the Potion, Bidoof, Ponyard, Yanma. Oh, we got the Lunatone. I almost thought it was a sleeping Mew, but we got the Lunatone Galarian Gallery and right behind it is the Hollow Station. Let's go. We've been opening a lot of Crown Zenith packs uh, for the YouTubes, for the stream, and it seems like the Hollow Zations uh, and or Zamazentas, I'm mixing them up at this point, are quite common. We were getting Hollow Zations or Zamazentas almost every other pack to the point where it started becoming a meme on the stream. Now we got the Wooloo, the Skrelp, a the Radiant Charger Bug. That brings me to all Radiants now in my possession. This was the last one I needed. And regular rare Luxray. So, so far the hit rate is pretty good. Nothing crazy just yet, but sometimes quantity is better than quality, but sometimes again, if that quality hit is, let's say, a gold Giratina, I think you're willing to sacrifice a bit of quantity for that one big quality hit. Ooh, we got the hollow, reverse hollow leaf grass energy and a regular rare lichen rock. We're down to the final three packs on the left side. I was told heading into this from others I met and know that when they opened their tins, they had crazy hits. In fact, one of them did get the gold Tina from one of their tins, which gave me the biggest FOMO I've ever had heading into a Crown Zenith product. And that's why I said, you know what? Another Radiant Charger Bug. And that's when I said, you know what? We're gonna open all these packs for ourselves. Surprising enough for me though, as many packs as I've opened for myself, I don't have that many dupes. So we have two Radiant Charger Bugs here, sort of back to back, but overall, I don't have that many. I mean, um, just compared to other people I've seen, they've been hitting dupes left and right, uh, especially from the nine pack, sorry, the nine card mural. Everyone's pulling uh, the Turtwigs for those. I don't have a single Turtwig. And we have the Reverse Hollow Dark Energy and another regular rare Volcarona. They seem to be quite generous with these regular rare Volcaronas. And now we are on our last pack for the left side. Can we get some last pack magic? They're giving us the V-Star marker here. If that indicates anything, hopefully it's a big hit. Uh, Cause the left side's gonna need something big here. Just in case the right side comes out swinging and it's the reverse hollow gumshoes and the Regigigas V. At least we're walking away with one last hit in the last pack magic. So here it looks like we're within 10 packs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. 70% hit rate. That seems pretty typical from my experience, but let's see how the right side does. We've cleared out the board and now heading into our first pack magic on the right side. I am hoping for at least one pretty decent big hit from this entire box. Uh, so I don't regret keeping the whole thing for myself. Um, if I did do my original plan, I would have kept the left side for myself and the YouTube video would have been just that left side. And if we left it at that, 
That may have been an underwhelming video, so hopefully this right side gives us something to get excited about. But so far, it's a dud pack, and things may not be as bad as they seem, because every time we get a dud pack, I like to say that that's Crown Zenith setting us up for a double hitter. We did have a few dud packs in the left side, however, we only did get one double cheeseburger pack. But on the second pack on the right side, we got the Larvesta, Shinx, Energy Retrieval, Galarian Meowth. There's the Galarian Gallery Comfy, and no double cheeseburger, but it's the Hollow Volcanion. All my Crown Zenith videos to this day have blessed me with so many hits. Um, if you haven't seen them yet, make sure you check them out because I don't want to give spoilers, but I'm hoping this video keeps up pace with those big hits uh, because Crown Zenith has been so good to me. But if they're not good to me this video, that might just be the Law of Averages kicking in because I'm a big believer of Law of Averages and we're still on the dud packs right here. But we got a handful of packs to go. Not really sure which one this is. And we got the Metal Energy, the Lost Vacuum, the Sun, the Moon, the Cat, the Ball Toy, the Alarvesta, Snow Runt. Oh, still really? And another dud pack. Maybe the hit rates aren't as great as we were told. But at the very least, if we don't get anything big, even though it may not have been easy to get this box, and even though it may have cost an arm and a leg, as long as you guys like and subscribe and we're spending our time here together opening all these packs, you know, what more could we ask for? The power of friendship always wins, am I right guys? Walking us, walking away with the Reverse Hollow Ultra Ball and the Heliolisk. So that is probably the most packs I've ever opened for myself without getting a hit. I wasn't really keeping track, but I think that was three packs. Uh, but we are running close to the halfway mark with just the one comfy Galarian Gallery hit. And I thought the left side was kind of weak, uh, but so far the right side was like, hey, you, you want to see something weaker? Let's see, we got a Reverse Hollow Coughing into a Sky Seal Stone. So yeah, there you go. It's possible the right side might actually walk away with the L at this rate because we are past the halfway mark. Got the Fighting Energy, the Croco Rock Energy Switch, Metal Boy, Bug Boy, Cat Boy, Lizard Boy, Bidoof Boy. Give us a Glittering Gallery here, please. And okay, we got the Barrel. Do for me, but we got the Hollow Agron in the back. I was really hoping to pull more of the nine card murals, nine, nine card mural thingies, because as you can see on my wall back there, I have finally framed my amazing rares and I did buy another nine card frame in anticipation for me to complete the nine card mural. I only have three out of the nine cards, which is really surprising considering how many packs I've opened. But I mean, eventually we'll complete it. I'll buy singles if I have to. Uh, and I'm oh no way let's go we got the sweet coon V <laughs> okay things were looking a little dull for the right side but the right side came through the sweet coon V alt art anything behind it it's a double cheeseburger we got the Rayquaza V Max the right side listen was just building it all up for this pack right here let's get these guys sleeved and try to remember what I was talking about. So I believe I was talking about the nine card frames on the back. I do have a second one prepped for the nine card murals. Oh, I think I was talking about how I'm probably just gonna buy the singles um, if I reach the end of the Crown Zenith sort of era without getting all nine of them naturally. I'll just buy the singles and I'll put it up on the wall right next to the amazing rares. Uh, and hopefully we can- Oh! Holy! We pulled a gold! So far I have the Palkia and the Dialga. Oh my goodness, this video started off so slow. This is the second to last pack on the right side. 
If this is the Giratina or Arceus, we are three quarters of the way of completing the gold set. We get... Oh, we got another Dialga. That is my first big hit dupe. But these last two packs are coming through, making this entire sealed box worth it. The Origin Form Dialga V-Star. But behind it is the regular rare Blossom. You guys, I'll be honest, I was really worried <laughs> heading into, you know, the second half of this box. The left side wasn't too great on the big hits and we're on our last pack on the right side. So far, the right side has less hits, but we're talking quality, okay? The left side came in with quantity and the right side said, hold my beer, I'm coming in with quality. We got the Suicune V Alt Art, Rayquaza V Max, a gold card, a dupe for me. Really hoping I can pull some strings and sort of complete my gold card collection using that Dialga as trade fodder. With the last pack, are we looking at anything else? Just a reverse hollow Volcanion. Oh, let's go! A Zacian V Star to end things off. Looks like the right side after all came through with the big dub. So here's a little recap. We got the left side, Regigigas V, two Radiant Charger Bugs, the Lunatone, the BD Auto, Lapras, and the Stoutland V. Not bad, right? Talk about quality. But on the right side, we're talking about... I mixed that up. I meant to say quantity. <laughs> now on the right side, we're talking about quality. Because here we got the Zacian V Star, the Gold Dialga, Rayquaza V Max, Suicune V Alt Art, the Bebarrel, and the Comfy. Now take a look one last time at these two big boys right here. That feels good. So looks like the mini tins do have a pretty good hit rate at landing one of these big cards. And I think we can all agree that the right side won the classic left versus right battle that we've been doing on the on this channel. So hopefully you guys can find these mini tins at your local retail store, your local card shop and hopefully they have quite a bit in stock for you to get your hands on. It is really cool to complete all five of them if you like to collect. And in the comment section below, I want you guys to let me know if you could be one of the five characters on any of these tins. So that's Hop, Leon, BD, Sonya, and Marnie. Who would you wanna be and why? And after you guys type up your comment, don't forget to click right here to watch one of my older videos and make sure to tune in next week when we open ourselves the Pikachu VMAX collection, which I'm really excited to open up. I don't want to dive too deep into it because we'll talk about it in the next video. So I'll see you guys there. Thanks. Bye.